Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halsasi and welcome back to Beltless Factoria, where we are still waiting for the green circuits to empty out so we can hook up the new factories. Um, and I also think we have some wires left that we need to clean up. And then over here, we have some uh, green signs to be uh, finished before we can replace this square with the new uh, green signs production in here. Because last time, of course, we did the other three signs setups and cleaned up a bit. Um, what I also noticed is that if you look at it from this perspective, you can see not a lot of trains are moving. Uh, actually, you can see one stopped there. And the reason for this is because basically we all have this chain signals all over the place and this basically means once a train leaves the station runs up to a signal it will wait until it has a free pass up to the de destination um, that does not really allow a lot of uh, throughput so I have been thinking maybe that the reason why we have this setup with the signal here going into uh, the roundabout and then in the uh, on the other one on the other side as well but no signal in between and no signal coming out is to avoid con congestion because right here we don't want to, sig to have a signal because if a train would stop there, it would block the roundabout. Can't have that. And usually uh, you want to have a chain signal going into a junction. So if the line on one output or one out of the junction is occupied but not another the train can find the pass and is not stopped there but maybe we should actually replace the signals with these because then they would stop here uh, and they could find the way to this signal uh, and then even if the path further along is occupied. Now, that's probably a bit of a side project that I will do as we have replaced all the junctions with roundabouts. So let's do uh, replace all the chain signals here on the uh, uh, straight bits. Here in the junction, I think I will leave the chain signals. But then another thing is we do not get really enough trains delivered here for our red circuit production. And that's because, let's zoom out and zoom in again we don't produce enough plastics and the reason for that is low petroleum gas storage and that's due to not enough crude oil so last time i hinted at it we will hook up uh, another oil field I think this one back here will do nicely. It's a bit closer than the other ones. And for that, 
we will just have to to see how to extend our grid layout out here um, so that we have the the right matching points and probably it will not fit in in one grid and then when we have the the all the oil that we need then we probably have to also redo this setup with uh, proper ratios for uh, for cracking all right but uh, first things first let's grab that oil and uh, let's make sure that oil arrives here at least for the moment we have oil again our uh, storage tanks are almost full Chrome is also getting full now then it's time to see about the cracking process and uh, we will remove that one because we need um, two uh, chemical plants that deal with heavy oil to light oil and then um, we shall have those tanks there but we shall have them this way and like that then we can remove those can hook that up and towards this side we will have the cracking and or the, the lubricant and we'll have it in a in a manner uh, but just see okay do this if we have less than five thousand we don't need that much uh, lubricant, I think. And then we can have maybe let's move those up here. have pump there and then here for the water that's the other way around well, let's do that all over again water and then oh. to here and then here we will say pump if heavy oil is greater or equal and this one can then also
yeah, that should work. So let's grab a few pipes. I can make some pipes. Um, so we can actually hook that part up. And then here, we'll just go this way. And then we basically need same thing here for that. Let's do this. And here we shall have it this way. And we can actually connect there. And we connect this and oh. let's do a double set makes it easier to copy and we need four six Eight. I think we only need seven. So let's connect back up the the water. Have the water in there. And now let me run a few pipes and then we will finish that build. Almost all the pipes are connected. And if we connect up here, um, we see uh, these are working. Uh, however, we should set up the recipes for the others as well. And once we have reached the 5,000 mark here, we should see these two start working. And uh, on here, we do have the issue that the the output is full, so let's add a few tanks there. And that's it for the oil processing. Uh, what we also need to do at some point then is uh, getting this and that set up, cleaned up. And up here, I have already unhooked the, the coal input so that um, we can empty out the supply here and then redo the, the whole thing. And I am thinking maybe we add another um, setup for plastic production back here, um, which has the setup of only one loading station. So for that we probably should get rid of um, this crossing here and replace it with um, 
Um, oh, I think I do have have it here. Yes, I do. That was not entirely correct. Here. So the, the thing here is there we need to connect to this one down there. Somehow. Like this for example. It's a bit of a weird setup. But it works. And now we can really let the robots finish the job. We can copy in a template in here and then uh, probably copy the setup from here because it's a bit different than the auto factors that we have due to the, the liquid input and the uh, use of chemical um, factories instead of uh, assemblers. And this is how the new setup looks like. It had a bit of a weird situation here in the middle uh, where I had to squeak through the pipe uh, so that we can get the upper and the lower uh, chemical plants uh, supplied with uh, the petroleum gas but I think that does it fine and we pump in the gas here in the middle so it should spread more evenly to the upper part and the lower part than it did down here. And all that needs to be done is here hook up the coal delivery lines, which I have not yet done, because first I want to uh, uh, clear out the old um, the old factory here uh, before we start up the new one, and uh, then we can see in the next episode what to tackle next. I hope you enjoyed this one and join me next time for more Beltless Factorio. Until then, goodbye!